if you have a block or a or a foam roller or a like a little Pilates ball or something to prop yourself up on I'll actually show you like it's this, exactly the same on a block as it is on a foam roller or a ball you lift your hips up you put it under your sacrum and then if it's okay you're gonna slowly extend those legs out to straight I kind of like a ball or a foam roller because it has a little bit of mobility and I'm not exactly completely locked in place but the ball is I'm sorry the yoga block is wonderful if that's all you have don't worry about it and then we're just gonna allow your tailbone to kind of lengthen out toward your heels a little bit we're giving space to the front of our hips here and then make the legs a little strong so not passive I'm Maeve I'm happy you're here today arms at your sides if it's okay and let the shoulders just drop open and then once you're kind of here and you've arrived in this position and you've refined it a little bit it doesn't mean that it's not going to change as you're here you can change it as much as you need to but do see if you can give yourself a moment to pause and take away the bajiggities I like to call it like the like the moving all over just see if you can settle a little bit and then allow your attention to come to sensation and breath and the sensation of your breath and I really like to breathe into like the back of my body here the back of my hips and yes, you're correct. You can't actually breathe into your hips. I am aware of this. Like physiologically, you can't breathe into your hips, but you can breathe into your hips. If this is right and good, and you're very happy here, or at least moderately happy, you're gonna stay here. If you want, bring the soles of your feet together carefully, and then let the knees drop open a little bit here in Baddha Konasana. That changes, the, that changes everything, let's just say that. So if you need to adjust your position on block, roller, ball, whatever you're using, then make sure you do so. And then again, once you've kind of found a spot, that feels good and right. You're not becoming passive, you're just softening and welcoming in a sense of still. And in that little bit of stillness, allowing the attention to yet again come back to your breath. One more breath here. And wherever you are, bring the knees up, feet flat on the ground. And take a pause here. Arms are gonna come out to the sides like a cactus. You have to go carefully into this because I can't tell you what's gonna feel good and right on your body. Only you can really determine that. If it feels okay, start to take the knees slowly toward the right. So my roller is wider than a block. It's going to give me more support. Just be mindful of that. Inhale, come back to center slowly. Pause, reset. And then if it's okay, start to take the knees slowly to the left. And just stop wherever it feels like you're, like I don't know if I can go any further. I don't know how this is going to feel. Be mindful of limits. I like to move my right hip gently away from my right shoulder. Inhale, slowly back up to center. 
take a breath here enjoy a breath here I should say and then press your feet down lift your hips up you're gonna hold your bridge but just remove whatever's behind your hips bring your arms at your sides and then don't worry about coming up super high take the arms I'm gonna change my mind on the arms take the arms overhead and then lift the hips a little higher and we're sort of taking the back bend out of this with the arms overhead and it's truly just a hip bridge so engaging the glutes opening up the front of the hips a little more stretching the knees forward away from the face and then melt the upper back down melt the mid back down and then low back and hips come down hug your knees into your chest nice squeeze and then make your way onto hands and knees very nice I moved my little basket of tricks over here. It was in the different room um, for this very reason that I could use my foam roller if I wanted to. So I encourage you to kind of keep stuff close by that you might want to use in your practice. Right leg is going to extend back. Toes are tucked, foot is down. So toes are down, the ball of the foot is down. Keep both hands down. And then from your belly, push away. So like from the belly, push away, hands push down float this right leg back don't take your left arm up just bend the right knee and pull the heel toward your hip and then lift the knee a little higher and try not to arch the back stay here or take your left hand back to that right foot and then gently push away engage the right glute so engaging that hip yeah really nice excellent reach the right leg back reach the left arm forward keep the right leg lifted left hand comes down tuck your left toes three-legged dog open your hips up take the right leg higher and straighter and then bend the knee and actively pull that foot in toward your hips and then move the knee up and back Your leg back up to the sky float the right leg back shift into plank a few breaths here and then the elbows bend lower to your belly keep that right leg lifted take your left elbow bent out to your left side on the ground and then the right leg is still lifted. Just roll to your left side, look to the right. And then if it feels good, put this right foot behind the left foot on the ground. Good. And then if you want, need a little more space to do this. You can pick your foot up off the ground and sort of stretch that right leg back. Pull the foot toward the hip, open up the front of this right hip. If you feel really solid here, whoo, you might find your right foot or your heat, your ankle or your shin. If you have the leg, gently release it. Bring that right hand around. And then press up onto hands and knees. I have to recenter myself. Left leg is gonna extend back, tuck the toes, push the ground away. So hands push away, foot pushes away, belly lifts up. And then slowly float that left leg back. Keep both hands down. Bend the left leg, pull your heel toward your hip. Lift the knee a little higher, and then maybe reach back with that right hand, and then push away. Fantastic. Really nice. Good, beautiful. Come back around, right hand comes down, tuck the right toes, left leg stretches back. Keep your left leg straight, drop into your right heel. And then open up the hips, but keep the leg straight. 
Lift the leg a little higher. And then bend the knee if you want. And pull that foot in toward your hips. Lift the knee higher and pull it back. Inhale, stretch the legs back. Start to level the hips. Shift into plank. Keep that leg lifted. You can use your right knee down. I neglected to say that on the first side, but if you need the knee down, put it down. We're gonna lower to the belly. And then left leg stays up. Right elbow out to the side, elbows bent. And if you want, put this left foot on the ground behind. If it feels good, pick the foot up and kind of stretch it back behind you. And then if you feel really solid here and you want, you can take your foot. Or your ankle or something there. And then engage that left hip and gently push the foot away. Or push the foot into the ground if that's where it is. back through center, hands under the shoulders, press your hands down, drag them toward the back of the mat, cobra, so nice, down dog, exhale, really well done, inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, look at the top of your mat, bring your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise to stand. Hands into your heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Engage the glutes, little back bend. And bow forward, exhale. Inhale, halfway. Right foot steps back, exhale. Crescent pose, inhale, put a bend in that right knee, lift the front of the hips up, engage this right hip, send your heart to the sky, and then maybe start to re-straighten that back leg any amount. Keep the squeeze of this hip. It's like, anytime I'm giving you that action, it's not like 100%, I hope you know that, it's like 50% or 40% or some percentage, but not like your max because you can't sustain that. One more inhale, release your hands down. Plank inhale. Chaturanga or the floor. Any back bend you like, Cobra, Up Dog, Shalabhasana, Sphinx, Down Dog, Exhale. Inhale, right leg back, open the hips if it feels good, and then exhale, step your right foot forward. Crescent, inhale. Bend the back knee, engage the left hip, the glutes. Lift your heart, maybe start to straighten the back leg any amount. One more inhale. Bring your hands down, step forward. Halfway inhale. Bow down, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Little back bend on the top. Bow forward, exhale. Anytime we take that little back bend, you gotta use your butt, you gotta use your glutes. Inhale, halfway. Left foot steps back, exhale. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hands to the ground. Plank inhale. Chaturanga or the floor. Inhale, your back bend. Down dog, exhale. Left leg back, inhale. Open the hips if it feels good. Exhale, place your foot forward. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hands down, step forward. Inhale, halfway, and bow, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Hands to your heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Right foot steps back, right knee gently to the ground. If you don't want to, don't put it down.
Anjaneyasana, right hip engages. Release your hands down. Step back, plank. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Down dog, exhale. Right leg back, inhale. Open the hip if it feels good. Exhale, place your foot forward. Left knee gently down. Anjaneyasana, left hip, squeezing. Bring your hands forward, step forward. Inhale, halfway. Bow, exhale. Rise, inhale. Stay with me here, a little back bend. Bow forward, exhale. Inhale, halfway. Left foot steps back. Left knee gently down or not. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Hands down, exhale. Plank, inhale. Your path to down dog. Inhale, left leg back. Open the hip if it's good, I almost forgot. And then step your left foot forward. Right knee down. Rising on Janayasana. So good. Release your hands. Step forward. Halfway inhale. Bow down, exhale. Inhale, push the ground away to rise up. Engage the hips, a little heart lift. Hands to your heart. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, open up. Down dog, exhale. On that up dog, on that cobra, push the tops of the feet down. If you're in Shalabhasana, the feet are floating up. But if you're in Cobra or Up Dog or Sphinx, push the feet down. Lift your heels and hands. Bend your knees. Look at your hands. Bring your feet to your hands. Halfway inhale. Fold. Exhale. Rise. Inhale. Hands to heart. Exhale. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lengthen. Chaturanga. Inhale, open. And down dog, exhale. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, knees bend, feet to your hands. Halfway, breath in. Empty the breath and fold. Push the ground away. Inhale, rise. Hands to your heart, exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga. Inhale. Rise. Down dog. Exhale. Right leg back. Inhale. If it's nice, open up the hips. Bend that right knee. And then re-extend. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one, back heel roots down. Rise up the center. I like a wider stance here. That means right and left. So I am not gonna tell you how to line up your heels. I'm just not going to because it's gonna be different on all of us. So I need you to feel where you're centered, where you feel strong, where you feel like you have space, where the pose feels good. There are so many factors that play in here to make this, to make it good for you, right? If you're happy heel to heel, fantastic. I don't want to steal that from you. I'm happier with my feet a little wider, but I'm not going to project that on you. You might need an even wider stance, or maybe you like an even narrower stance. I don't know. But for me, this gives me more space in my, in my pelvis. 
technically you don't really get more space. It's just kind of set, but it makes me have the sensation that I have more space in my pelvis. Release your hands behind your hips, lace your fingers. Inhale, open your heart to the sky. Enjoy a few breaths here. Good. Yeah. And then I like my right foot even a little wider to come forward and bow. So I like to move my right foot out a little wider still. And hug the right hip back a little. Allow the head to drop. Come up halfway and come onto the back toes. Put the back knee down, optional. Left hand down, optional. Pull that left foot toward your hip and take the foot with your hand. So you make this what you need it to be. Yep, that's beautiful. Good. Wherever you are, that left hip. So you know I can't say the word buttocks. It's like I, I just have like a, I have a fail system that doesn't allow me to say it. So I'm always saying hips but it's your butt, your buttocks. I like, cannot say the word like with a normal intonation, so I just don't say it. But when I say hips, I mean your booty, your glutes. Good, if you have the foot, release it. Everyone tuck the toes or the back leg, come into plank breath in, and then release chaturanga or the floor. Your back bend and down dog, and you know you can skip these whenever you need to. Inhale, left leg back. Open the hips if it's nice, bend the knee, and then step the left There's foot forward. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. So I'm not gonna give you the speech, I want you to find what feels right and good as far as the length and width of your feet. And release your hands behind your hips. Lace your fingers the opposite way. Inhale, heart to sky and enjoy some breaths here. And then I like my left foot a little wider still to bow forward. I like to put a little bend in my elbows because my elbows have the tendency to hyperextend, which is totally fine, by the way, but um, what happens then is I'm just stretching, like I kind of bypass my shoulders when I do that. It's a way for me to go deeper without actually getting a stretch in my shoulders here. So for me, if I bend my elbows, I'm gonna get a little bit more shoulders work here. Come up halfway. Come onto your back toes. Put your back knee down if you want to. A little twist here. And then if you want, back foot comes in. Then find the foot, engage the right glutes. Release the foot if you have it, tuck the toes. Plank, inhale, to your belly, exhale, please. Bend both of your knees. You don't have to reach back with your hands. You might just stay here. You might float the hands up, or you might take your feet and then push away. release down dog inhale lift your heels bend your knees we're gonna land in a toe stand so bring your feet to your hands walk step or jump toe stand doesn't have to be super deep let your knees kind of tell you where you're happy here 
And if chair is better for you, fine. Take a chair instead. Yeah. Good. If you want to use a block, it'll be right and to the right, like forward and to the right. Good. Keep your right knee bent. Put your right heel down, right hand floor or block, and then roll open Ardha Chandrasana. Option to bend the top leg. Maybe take the big toe side of the foot and then press away. Engage that left hip. Keep some tone in your belly. So you don't need to grip, but just really keep the awareness of that belly, the core muscles, abdominals awake. To come out of this, pull your heel toward your boot and then open up. Bend your standing leg, bring the block with you if you'd like. Spot your left foot back, triangle. Last inhale. Bring your left hand around. Left knee is going to come to the ground. Kick your left foot behind you. Take your right leg up and then see if you can take the right foot. So think just like Chapasana here. I have to give myself a little more space. So it's just like a half moon in Chapasana, or Chapasana in half moon. You've just put your knee down. Yeah. Open back up. Tuck the right toes, bring this right hand around. Three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. Really nice. Bring your left shin forward. Single leg pigeon. We're not in a splat version. If you can, you're gonna stay upright. And if you need to use blocks for this, use blocks for this. So you're gonna try to keep your torso right. Yep, beautiful. And then push down into the front foot, the ankle, the shin, the knee, to get a little sense of lifting here. Good. And then you're energizing that back leg. Beautiful. If you feel stable here, arms to the sky. Right hip, guess what? It's working like crazy. Release your hands down. Tuck your toes, plank inhale. To your belly again, exhale. Any back bend here, but maybe, maybe, maybe Danyarasana, or maybe a detached Danyarasana, not taking the hands to the feet, but working the energy of the legs. Yes, indeed. Really nice. And down dog. Enjoy a breath or two. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, look at your hands, you're going to come to a toe stand, bring your feet forward. If you want to set up a block, we're not there yet, but you can start to set it up, knowing that we're going to go into half moon on this side. And again, if chair is better for you, great. Really nice. You can take your left hand forward out to the left. Keep your left knee bent, but push the heel down and then sweep the right leg back for half moon. Yes, and then maybe bend that top leg and find your foot and then kick away. Well done. Really nice. If you have the foot, pull it toward your 
your butt. So pull the heel toward your butt to release. And then bend your standing leg. Bring a block with you if you want. Triangle. If you need to renegotiate your space in your mat, like me, just do that. inhale and then bend the front leg bring your right hand around bring your right knee to the ground kick your right foot over to the right so you start vashistasana and if it feels good you're going to bend that top leg catch your foot and kick it away and then you're taking this right hip your bottom hip and you're pressing it forward Release the foot carefully. Come around plank. Inhale. This time your path, whatever you want. Make your way to down dog. Smooth out your breath. Oh, I lied. Left leg to the sky. Left leg to the sky. I was like, what's missing? I know it's missing. Bring that knee forward. Yes. Pigeon. That would have been tragic. Next level tragic. Here. Lifting up. Front shin. Ankle. Knee. Back leg. All pressing down so you get this rising energy. This right hip is working like crazy. If it's okay, arms come up. But if you need your arms for support here, like listen to your body know what you need release your hands and then make your way to down dog. You don't have to go through chaturanga, but you are more than welcome to if you'd like. Soft, even, steady breath. Come back to it now. Soft, even, steady breath. Inhale, right leg back. If it feels nice, open the hips, bend the knee, maybe flip to wild thing. Right foot top of the mat. Warrior one, inhale. Release your hands behind your hips. Lace the fingers, heart to sky, inhale. Adjust your feet however you need to. Bow forward. Inhale, halfway up. Release that left hand down. Option to put the left knee down and find the back foot. Take a breath here. And then release it around. Bring the right hand around. Tuck the back toes. Step forward. Come into toe stand. Right hand block or floor push that right heel down keep the knee bent and then press open maybe left leg stays bent and you just find the foot bend your standing leg triangle take it back breath in left hand comes down now you can put your left knee down you can come onto the pinky side of your left foot and then if you want bring that right foot behind I don't have room if you want, bring the right foot behind and then catch the foot. Yes. Come around. Right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Right shin forward, pigeon. 
This time, maybe bend the back knee, find the foot, maybe send the energy up. Maybe the foot comes into the elbow and the hands come together. Breath in, with control release. Plank, inhale. Your path to down dog. Stay here, breathe. Left leg back, inhale. Hips open if it's okay. Bend the knee if it's okay. Flip to wild thing if it's okay. Left foot top of the mat. Right heel roots down. Warrior one inhale. Hands behind the hips. Heart to sky, inhale. Yes. Bow forward. Halfway up, inhale. Right hand down. Option to put the knee down to take the foot. Release that. Come around. Tuck the back toes. Lift the knee. Toe stand top of your mat. Good. Push the left heel down, sweep the right leg back. Maybe keep that knee bent, Chapasana. Yeah. Bring the block with you if you're using one and you want. Bend the standing leg, triangle. So nice. Breath in. And then bring this right hand down and around. Pinky side of the right foot or right knee down. Option to bend this leg and then find your foot and kick away. Three-legged dog. And pigeon. Stay upright if you can. Consider taking that back knee in. Or I'm sorry, the foot in. Bending the knee. Maybe come around. You know, on me, this side doesn't feel so good, so I'm going to just stay here. Last breath in. Come around slowly. Make your way to down dog. Very nice work. Smooth out your breath. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, knees bend. Feet to your hands. Lengthen halfway. Stay lengthened. Left leg stretches back and then bow forward. Standing splits. If it feels good here, I'm gonna give you like as much freedom as you could possibly have. If you wanna turn your hips open, turn your hips open. If you wanna bend your top leg, bend your top leg. Play with this however you want or stay classical. Yes, Kazzy, that's it. Like if you wanna catch the foot, go for it. Have the foot, bring that right hand back around or left hand back around or whatever. So both hands are down. And then bring your left knee toward your left tricep and bend your right knee. Good. And then just stay here. Create a little shelf for your left elbow, uh, with your left elbow for your left knee. You don't have to go anywhere. You can just be here. 
but maybe you start to pull this right foot up and come into single leg crow. And then forward fold, top of the mat. Enjoy a few breaths here. Inhale, lengthen, right leg stretches back in, the s in space in the air, and then melt down. And you can open up the hips if you want. You could just bend that top leg, find your foot with your left hand, and kind of push away. If you do that, if you push away, you catch the, the foot, you get this nice hip flexor stretch. So nice, Paula. Beautiful, everyone. Both hands come back down if they're not already there. Right knee, right tricep. Don't worry, you don't have to go anywhere. Create a little shelf, tip forward. Maybe that left leg lifts and stretches back. And then Malasana. Have a little sink down. Beautiful. Really, really nicely done. One more inhale. Forward fold. Take your hands behind your hips if it's okay. Lace your fingers. Put a bend in your elbows. And then start to stretch the fingers and knuckles away from the back. Roll the chest open, the shoulders open, and melt a little deeper. Knees can be bent. Elbows can be bent to get a little more shoulder stretch if you need it. Lengthen, hands back, heart up, reach up, rise up. Sweep the arms up for the sky. Little pause here, hips engaged. Front hip points lift, heart lifts. Little back bend if it's there for you. Bow forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Step your left foot back. Right foot's gonna come wide. I like blocks here, at least to start until I know what I'm gonna receive. If you can, you're gonna keep your back knee up off the ground. Forearms on blocks, straight arms, or forearms on the floor. I like to take my right foot a little wider, and I don't know how wide I need it until I actually get down, because it's not the same every day. And then work that back leg straight and strong. Pull the heart forward, pull the gaze forward. Use the arms pushing down to pull the chest through. One more inhale. Knee is gonna come gently down. Half splits, so straightening the front leg. You can keep this foot wide if it feels good. You can bring it more to the center if that feels better. And if you want, you can start to extend the right leg forward. And then it's the back leg of pigeon. It's that strength of kind of pressing down and engaging the glute a bit. Glutes.
if you've extended the front leg, draw it back carefully. Rebend the front leg. Bring your hands around, sweep the right leg back, just like we started. Right leg is back. Bend the right knee, lift the knee a little higher, and then option to take that left hand back, and then press away. Inhale, open up. Keep that right leg lifted, left hand down, three-legged dog. Step the left, I'm sorry, step the right foot forward. Standing splits, please. Option for handstand, as always, if you want to turn yourself to a wall. I like some space between the hand and the foot. So there's a lot of other ways to get here besides just what we usually do, which is frame the foot, bend the standing leg, swing with the back leg, and push with the bottom leg. Like, that's wonderful. That is absolutely beautiful. It's perfect. If you want, maybe come up onto the right toes, take this left leg wide, the knee might bend, and then you start to kind of like lift from here. And just get a sense of like all the work that might be required to get you from there, like little hoppy hops there. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, forward fold, top of the mat. Well done. Well done. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Right foot steps back. Blocks if you want. Straight arms or forearms. Back leg straight and strong if it's okay, without the knee down. Take the left foot as wide or as close in to your torso as it makes you feel good here. Right hip engaging. Push the left foot down and engage the left hip also. Use your forearms, use your hands, whatever's in the ground to draw the spine a little longer here. You can move around here, like find new areas that might need attention. Last breath. Your exhale, knee gently down. Straighten the front leg. Half splits, anything in between, too full. And you can change the angle of that front leg however you want. Use your back hip to stabilize you. You've extended the front leg. With care, we're going to draw it back. Bend the front knee. Tuck the back toes. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. Sweep the left leg back. Hmm. Come here. Come here. And then maybe we come here. Foot to hand. Good. Now, three-legged dog, left leg to the sky, and step your left foot forward. Standing splits. So this doesn't have to change. I'm just going to say that again. It doesn't have to change, but this is a nice opportunity if you want to 
turn to the wall or do something else there, do something else, handstand. And you can try different entry points. So if you want, you can come like up on the toes, take this leg wide. And it's not like it's pretty coming up, but you start to find like new ways to find balance there. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. And then bring your feet to the top of your mat. Well done. Yes. Sink down and lie down. If you want to bring a block with you, bring a block. Okay, we did a lot of back bends. If you want, sacrum, on block, foam roller ball, exactly how we started. And just come back to this and see how this feels on your body. If you want a more active back bend, maybe bridge or up bow. If you're in an active back bend, down when you're ready. If you need more time in the block or you need some time in the block, come in the block. If you're ready, you're off. And then happy baby. right leg, like this right foot over toward the left. I'm going to find my right foot with my left hand. I'm going to drop this knee down and then my left knee is coming over to the right. Little twist here. Come back up through center with both knees up. And we'll do that to the other side. Bring your left foot over toward your right sitting bone. Find your foot with your hand. Release the leg down and then bring the right leg across. back through center, both knees come back up, bring the soles of the feet together, just drop the feet down, let the knees drop open, a little brief Supta Baddha Konasana here. Extend the legs all the way out. And then arms at your side. <sighs> Let your breath go. Feel the weight of your body in the floor. Notice your right heel, your left heel. Your right calf, your left calf. Your right hip, your left hip. Right hand, left hand. Right forearm, left forearm. Elbows. The shoulders, the back of the head. Notice all those points together. 
and any other points that might feel heavy. And then let the rest of the body follow that sensation of weight, connection. Allow yourself to release to gravity. your arms overhead, inhaling. Bend your knees and roll to your side. From your side, rise to sitting. Mm -hmm. Feel the length of your spine. Feel how you feel, all of it. Whatever you're feeling, do your best not to judge it or label it. Just feel it. Bring your hands together in prayer at your heart. Breath in. Bow your mind to your heart. Rise with an inhale. Your eyes open gently. Thank you.